his own at the moment. <laughs> this was great play by Green, though. Oh, actually, I don't know, though. He, he handballed that. It looked like he might have just flicked it over there to, to Robbo. But that is non-preferred side. His left foot, he was just able to slide around the corner. And he's happy with his effort. He was injured earlier today, too. Remember when we thought oh, he was going to come back? he does that all the time, Bruce. Just foxing. So the margin is back to 10 points. The question might be, how did Green get rid of the footy? <laughs> A little sleight of hand, hard to see for the umpire in there. And Robertson, a wonderful finish. Robertson at one end, Pavlich at the other. A lot to like in the second half of this one. Sandlin stumps it down. Sliding in down there was Maloney, goes after it again. Got it out to Bruce. Melbourne attack. Once more it's bait. Awkward bounce though. Johnson the first back. In trouble. Miss Bell. Sandlin's has it. At close quarters. Gave it to support. Well, eventually Thornton goes back to the man who gave it to him. That's Drum. They're working double time. Gilmore. Sandlin's low down. Hand pass of a tired man. Miller breaks a tackle. Wanamiri is on. Wanamiri's got it. And how about this? Melbourne. Wanamiri. Looked across the ground and saw Morton, no percentage in that, take a shot. That was sensational play by Melbourne, in particular Miller, just to stay involved in that contest. Fremantle were desperate to get the ball away from there, but Melbourne just kept coming at them, and eventually they coughed it up. Wanamiri, 40 metres out, has kicked a goal! Less than a goal of difference! He's kicked three this afternoon. He's in his keep. He's been terrific. I love his celebration as well. This Shammer has just come off the ground. They'll rest him up. They'll bring him back on again. They need some fresh legs out there. But this is the ball they just couldn't clear here. And Melbourne kept coming. This bloke's been terrific. He and Bate. And then Robertson, who's joined in the party in this last quarter, has given them a lot of life in their fourth half. Look at that. <laughs> the boy from Melbourne Island. So for the second week in a row, he kicks three goals in a match, but he's done it under the pressure of having a chance of winning. Within four points, a remarkable match here at the G. The Dockers led by 51. Melbourne has never come back from such a margin to win a game, ever. Ever? No. Nope. And here they are within four points. And just said earlier, the fallout if the Dockers lose this match today will be heard for a long time out west and Melbourne right now are probably favourite they need to get their nose in front and they might in a minute Miller's been terrific and so is McLean who got it to him Miller loads up where's Robbo? Morton and he's kicked another one what a Mary. he's got four this is a celebration they're in front Good as this. Oh, look at that smile. Well, you're just going to love it. As long as you're not a free man of support, you're just going to love what you're seeing at the MCG this afternoon. Once they get the ball in the open, oh, yeah. this bloke has been outstanding. They haven't been able to chop him off. He's provided the target. Here's the one-on-one -on -one contest, and one of just read it so beautifully. And his celebrations are as good as you will see in this game. And they've had nothing to cheer about these fans all year. And they are delirious at the moment. Dean needs to work on his happiness <laughs> at the minute, but he knows there's still seven and a half minutes to go. He's smiling inwardly. He's very happy. That pancreas is vibrating. Then goes White on Thornton. Bait again. What a game he's played. Slaps it out to McLean. McLean goes to half forward, stretching Maloney. Maloney is 55 metres out. Kicks back in the square. Davey! Oh, gee whiz. Fremantle have got the staggers. Davey will line up from about two metres out. Take your line. Well, what about this? Melbourne in the first half were like one of those nervous African dictators. They always took a different route home. Now they're going long to the square and they're kicking goals.
disposals in this last quarter, 53 to Melbourne, just 24 to Fremantle. They can't get their hands on the ball. They're not winning the clearances. And then once Melbourne get it out in the open, they just look so much more, uh, so much faster than Fremantle. Pavlich is going back into the centre bounce. Solomon's in there, they're hard nuts, and Bell, one of their better ball winners. Well, Davies kicked three, one of Mary's kicked four. Robbo's had three in this last quarter for four. They're winning the stoppages. They've got a little cushion here late in this match. Dockers have got to kick at least two. And remember, the Dockers gave up their biggest lead ever last week at three-quarter time to lose, and they had a bigger one today. And Bruce, they've got a problem even if they win from here. Melbourne now have two extra players behind the ball. So the clock could become important. White's kick out wide. Where's the pace here? It's with O'Brien. To Bell. Well, the transformation is just remarkable. It's hard to believe, actually. What about that, Tim? Two men behind the ball. Why now? They're dominating in midfield. Stay with what's got you here. I exactly. But, I mean, Fremantle haven't put any players behind the ball, so they've got two extras at this stoppage. Mm. McLean having a rest, he's been so important, McLean, what's he had? 27 disposals today, 13 in the first half, 14, McDonald hacks it forward, and the man of the moment, this 19-year-old Wanamiri on to green, it was nearly off, he's on the wrong side, but you know, he's good enough to kick this. He has a natural fade from left to right, so this will suit his kicking. This is icing on the cake if he kicks this. This gets them home, you reckon. This almost puts the Dockers away. He kicked the first goal for the Demons today. They were hapless for an hour, the Demons. And right now, you reckon he could just about close this off. Not bad. Very good. It's touched. Wow. Well, that'll be interesting to see again. Ball comes out intended for Sandilands. He was held, and the big guy, the focal point, has to find something now. Lift his flagging teammates. Gilmore goes out wide, Shammer. Forward of left half back. Again, the short one, this time to the wing. Ibbotson has started so well. Who would have thought it? Melbourne by nine. They trailed by 50 at half time. Long down towards half forward. Rivers came hard. He's at three points. So out of bounds. Dennis, he's that free player that got behind the ball. So he read that beautifully. He started in the defensive 50. Saw the kick going out wide. This is the one that. Gee, oh. that looked over the line. Don't forget you got to factor in the fat bit, apparently. But even so, Gilmore, controversy, and they're all coming from the same script. Dodgy goal. Time problems. Farmer snaps and kicks it behind. This is probably three or four weeks of footy the AFL would love to forget, despite some great games. 118, 110. Oh, McDonald went looking for Warnock, who fell over. Farmer tracks back, dutifully gets it away. Solomon has been terrific inside the forward 50. Bell was up in front, fell behind McManus. Hard one for Drum. Mundy is through. Mundy has missed. Makes the point he was pushed in the back. May have a case. What price a draw, Dennis? <laughs> shortening, oh. shortening by the minute, Tim. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know my line. <laughs> At least uh, Tim knows who I am this week. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Morton. Melbourne through Green. Wanamiri. Oh, that's been outstanding in this final quarter. This will be his 15th touch. Good kick in the end. To Maloney's, they've all lifted, haven't they? Maloney's yep. been one that's lifted. They all uh, needed to, though. Well, Dean Bailey signalled him out. Well, along with Nathan Carroll at quarter time, remember that look he gave Maloney? He went one, two, three, bad kicks. Here's Bruce. It's got to be one-on-one -on -one footy now from Fremantle. They've got to just shut them down Jeez. and try and win the ball back. There's plenty of time. We talked 30 minutes about go about decision-making, Tim, for the Melbourne under pressure. This, this is, is going to test him now. Yeah, this, this is, is really going to test him. 
But Fremantle have to get right up in their faces and just stop these kicks from sticking. That's too much space to bait. Bruce to bait. Talked a lot about Bates' revival after halftime. First match for the year. He's done a terrific job. He's got a Lucy. He's got McLean on his own. He's going to load it up, though. And go inside the 50. Robbo, one of the targets. Under pressure, Johnson went to ground. Hasn't got it out yet. It'll be a ball up. Dean Bailey on the edge of something special. He's worried about the clock and why not. Peter Bell brilliantly done. Sandilands, that was ambitious. McDonald stepped around Mundy. Here's a chance now for Bruce. Under pressure. Snaps. Big leap Robbo. Fingertips to it across the line. Makes no difference to Fremantle's plight, really. They're down by eight points in midfield. Palmer. The run of Bell drives it towards the outer side wing. Pavlich has got it. No time to rest now. Back to Bell. The old heads combining. Bell around the outer side. Brilliant kick. Tarrant. I think his first possession of the second half. Crowley's pushed deep. He's just got to move it on from here. He's 60 metres out, Chris Tarrant. Clock is down to two minutes. That's not the spot for it. The same problem we talked about before. Now Davey ambles away. Settles, comes back to the middle, Frawley. Great show of confidence by Davey. Bruce, they've got the extra man out there, McLean. Warnock around the outer side wing. And it goes long, a percentage kick towards the boundary line. What a million Thornton. Do you expect some more desperation from Fremantle in this desperate stage of the game though, wouldn't you? They look tired though. Melbourne have run them ragged in the second part of this half. So that attendance almost up to 20,000. It was a talking point all week. And there's a red and blue wave of excitement here at the moment. Crowley threw it out in the end. Palmer very good early to drum. Last roll of the dice, you reckon. McManus has kicked a beauty. And who better to give it to? Can he kick number six? He looked like being the match winner earlier. I don't think it's going to be a goal, but it puts them... No, within seven points, which is not going to help them right now. That might have been it. How big's this kick in? He had to take the kick quickly, but he didn't actually line himself up squarely no. with the goal. Wheatley drives. It's a great kick. Bruce Marks. And now 50. And clock stops. Seven points the difference. Crowley gives up 50. And Bruce now in the ideal spot to waste a little time. McDonald is peeling off. Bell not watching him, walking with his head down. Oh, well, that's no good. That is terrible. By a great player in Peter Bell. Probably thinking about a move back to Geraldton. Here's McDonald. Around the boundary. Bruce, Bell, trying to corral him. Taken high was green. Bell steals it. Back comes Green, clever little hand pass, Miller who's been terrific, throws it out of bounds, throw in, and the clock Bruce is down to 38 seconds, and Melbourne you would think have won their first of the season. Well this has been remarkable. Robbo, to Bruce, to Dodd, Palmer, back to McDonald, their captain for the day, back to McLean. Dodd to Palmer. Hard running. Still hard running. Over the top. They're seven points behind, though. Gilmore's kick. Tarrant. Big mark. Not quite. Wait for the siren. Bad handball. Farmer hacks it. Well, there's a goal the difference. With time about to win it. For the D's, it's the second biggest comeback ever since halftime by any team, and they've done it. An extraordinary day at the journey.